As you may know, amongst gamers there is an ongoing war. The dreaded console wars. Are you Team Blue or Team Green? Sony Pony or an Xbox? But there is a greater battle raging under this. The ever-present engine wars. Are you Team Black and White or Team black and white. In today's video, I just wanted to take a look at some baseline performance stats, comparing Unity and Unreal Engine together, and to see which one is the faster and nimble engine. So I've got a couple of videos on my channel now where I've spoken about the differences and my kind of thoughts on Unreal versus Unity. And there's a lot of questions about, you know, there's a lot of personal preference there, but which one is actually like the fastest engine or the, the most performant. So I thought I would take a look into that. This is in no way scientific, of course, but I have tried to do my best to make it fair where possible. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the following things. They're all gonna be timestamped on the bar and in the description. So if you wanna skip ahead to any of these to see the results, you know, just, you can do that. So I'm gonna be going through how long does it take to start up a new project? How long does building an empty project take? What is the size on the disk of a built project? So what's the size of the actual executable files that you can launch and actually run the game on your computer. How quick is asset importing? So I'm going to be importing a FBX file and an OBJ file and kind of comparing how quick that they import. How quickly you can enter play mode on both engines uh, in a completely blank scene. And I was actually really blown away by how quick one of the engines did this. How performant is visual scripting? So I set up a for loop in blueprints and bolt and kind of compare them and how fast it took for that for loop to complete. I'm going to take a look at compile time. So I'm going to make a quick change to a script and then see how long it actually takes for the script to compile back in the editor to start playing with your new bit of code. Finally, I'm going to take a look at the size of the install of both engines and how much space they're going to be taking up on your hard drive. So it goes without saying your mileage may vary here. If you've got a better computer, these times will be quicker, slower computer computer, they'll be slower. Throughout the video, you're going to see Unreal Engine 5 on the left-hand side of the screen, and Unity will always be on the right side of the screen, so you know which one you are looking at. Some of the footage has been sped up, because some of these things take a few minutes, but I've included a timer on a lot of this footage, so you can actually see kind of how long it took. It's just not in real time. So let's get started with all these tests. So for starting a new project, as Unity has a variety of scriptable graphics pipelines, for these tests, I was using a blank HDRP project to get as close to the Unreal graphics experience as possible, though undoubtedly Unreal is much nicer to look at out of the box. The times you see here were quite similar regardless of which SRP I used and which kind of template I used. So what you see for Unity seems to be kind of what you get when you're creating a new project. So for build times, this one really took me by surprise. Unreal was blazingly fast when building the game. However, it was a much larger game on disk, being over twice the size. Model importing was an absolute pain in Unreal. Not only did it take longer, the models I downloaded imported as individual pieces, which I then had to select in the content browser before dragging it out into the scene. And this was with all of the default import options. I didn't change anything in the import window. Unity was much quicker and organizes the FBX and OBJ under one game object in the browser, which I could just then drag straight into the scene. And if I wanted to get individual elements out, I could expand it and do that. So in this for loop test, uh, using Blueprint and Unreal and Bolt in Unity, I entered a for loop for 10,000 iterations, and then I just divided the number 5,000 by 2. Unreal took less than a second to do this, with Unity taking around about 3 seconds. So this one, as I mentioned earlier, this blew me away. So here we've got the blank default scenes in both engines, and you can just see that Unreal Engine 5 took 16 milliseconds to enter play mode, whereas Unity took eight and a half seconds. When it comes to script compilation, Unity is the runaway winner here. Blazingly fast compile times, no need to shut the engine from time to time and build your project, and there's hardly any crashes when you're experimenting with code. Size of install on the disk. The blazing speed of UE5 seems to come at a cost of hard drive space though, with Unreal Engine 5 being 11 times larger of an install than Unity. So this means every time you want to update your engine, you're going to be waiting just a little bit longer if you've got rubbish internet like me. That said, Unreal has a lot more stuff out of the box. Not all of it relevant to every game though. Uh, whereas Unity is more modular, you only install what you need on a per project basis through the package manager. Some people hate this, others like it. I personally like the package manager as it lets you really customize what you want in your package and keeps it lightweight. Okay, so there you have it. We have a clear winner in Unreal Engine there in terms of speed. However, I am a bit of a Unity stan. I do prefer Unity over Unreal. That's just because that's what I'm familiar with. The primary reason I really got drawn to Unity at the start was C Sharp as a programming language. It was just a lot easier to learn than C++. 
And iteration time is a lot quicker because if you've got like a null reference in Unity, it's fine, it just warns you and then you can like fix it. Whereas a null pointer in Unreal results in an engine crash, then you have to like restart your project and get it back open again. And you might have lost some work if it hasn't auto-saved in a while. And obviously compile times are a lot slower as well, which when you're learning and you're having to go back to your code and you've forgotten to do a line or you've done something wrong, all of that does add up. Though the speed you gain elsewhere in Unreal may make up for that. As you can see, it's a much faster engine than Unity. I have started trying to learn Unreal again. I wanna see if, now that I've got my head around C Sharp, whether the experience of learning C++ will be a lot easier. I think it will be. I'm not trying to learn programming on a basic level plus all the quirks of C++. Like I already know programming on a base level now. So I'm just gonna be learning the kind of core concepts that C++ does differently to C Sharp. I was thinking about doing a video once I've come to the end of that journey, just to compare kind of you know, does learning C Sharp help you get better at C++? Let me know in the comments if that is a video that you would like to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button to let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. As always, I want to thank my amazing Patreon supporters. In the 10,000 XP tier, we have Trey. Thanks a lot, Trey. And you can see all of the 4,000 XP tier members on screen now. Thank you, everyone, for your support.